Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Remy. Um, when we both came to Pepperdine, we were both like, you have a YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> we need to collab. So today we're going to be talking about the few months after we submitted our college applications leading up into college because I feel like this is like a time period that no one really talks about but it's actually really important because this is where you like find out what's important to you in a school. Um, you meet people who might be going to your potential schools online. You're excited, you're waiting and so I feel like we should talk about it. Definitely. And then what are you going to be doing on your channel? So on my channel, we're just going to talk about when college starts. So like our initial reaction to arriving here and then time management skills and just all of that good fun stuff. <laughs> Things that we still need to learn. Yeah. About. Like how did you feel after you submitted your all your college applications? Okay, so after I submitted all of my college applications, it felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Mm. It was just really nice to get it all done because like I was working on mine for weeks, like all of the essays, figuring out what schools I wanted to go to and that whole process was kind of stressful, but like once you submit your college applications, you just feel like a weight is off your shoulder. Mm -hmm. But then comes the waiting period, which is kind of even stressful. more stressful. <laughs> so Because like you're on social media and you see all your classmates and they're like, I got into this school, I'm committing already to this school. And you're yeah. like, how? Okay, so I went to college out of state and most of my friends stayed in state. So they got all Same. of their applications really soon mm -hmm. and... I got mine literally months after them, so I was kind yeah. of freaking out. I was like, am I going to be accepted into college? Like, what's happening? Yeah. So that was stressful, because like literally a week or two after my friends applied, they got their acceptances, mm. so. But I guess the good thing about that is like in that waiting period, you have time to realize what's important to you in a school and what you might not want in a school and mm -hmm. do more research. Like, I would go on YouTube every single day and type in like all the schools that I apply to so that I could get more of a vibe from them yeah and so you can just do lots of research in that period and don't try not to stress out like just <laughs> calm down take a deep breath because you will be accepted into schools it's just a waiting period mm -hmm. right now but I know it's really hard do you have any like de-stressing tips how to like remind yourself that's gonna be okay my thing I needed that <laughs> yeah so basically what I did after I applied to all my schools I just tried to not think about it because like what's done is done there's mm. a deadline for most colleges and once that deadline passes you can't apply to anymore so like after those deadlines I was like there's nothing I can do like it's out of my hands now so I'm just gonna focus on my senior year and mm -hmm. finish out strong and have fun so that's kind of what I did so just try to not focus on it too much, like it's important, but there's a point where you can't really do anything about it. And during your last few months of senior year, definitely make sure you're like hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Cause this is the oh. last time you're all gonna like be together. This is like, making me group. emotional. Oh, <laughs> Starts crying. Starts crying off camera. <laughs> no, I actually miss my high school friends so much. Like me we too. always text each other like I miss you so much because it's just <laughs> it's weird like to not it see is. them anymore. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> know your high school friends for like all of high school or? okay so I went to a middle and a high school so oh. yeah so most of us had been together since sixth grade and I went to school with some people even before that right. so like just completely moving states and like not being able to be around those people anymore or talk to them has been like super weird especially when they kind of like became your family we were a very dysfunctional family but we were still <laughs> a family like mm -hmm. you know we fought for like sure. family and we loved each other and like it's weird and it's kind of hard being away from them. So. Yeah, for sure. We'll talk more about that on her channel definitely, mm -hmm. but just like make sure you're spending quality time with them and yeah. treasuring these moments. Okay, so now let's talk about how we decided on Pepperdine out of all the schools and like <laughs> how we went through the process of choosing a school. Mine's not that great, so... <laughs> What had happened was... <laughs> what had happened what had was... Happened. So honestly, when I applied to Pepperdine, I'm not gonna lie, like, I did not know what Pepperdine was. Like, I... <laughs> That, I this her. sounds so bad. I was set on going to this one certain school, and I got into it and everything, but by the time I got accepted into the school, I just 
wasn't really that interested in it like I, I at the moment I thought it was like a really great school because like it was a Christian school and I was like wow I really want to go there like I feel like I belong there mm. and then I got my other acceptances and I was like whoa these schools are way better so maybe I should go to those ones instead so yeah during the application process I was just focused on getting that one good application for the school I wanted to go to mm -hmm. and the other ones I was just like uh, whatever like these are gonna be my safe schools and these ones are gonna be like my reach schools or whatever and I didn't really start doing my research till after I got accepted into Pepperdine and I know that sounds crazy. My sister went to UCI and I wanted to oh. go to UCI and like I got accepted into it so it was honestly kind of like a coin toss. I was like heads UCI Taylor. <laughs> yes. I didn't actually do that but I was contemplating You're that. You were contemplating yeah. doing that. So Honestly, I just went with my gut. I prayed about it and I just felt like Pepperdine was the school for me. So I relate to that mindset shift as well because when I was applying, I didn't want to go to Pepperdine that much. Mm -hmm. But then in the waiting process, after doing more research, I was like, hmm, maybe Pepperdine is like the place for me. Yeah. Um, and I think the biggest factor of choosing a school for me was financial aid mm -hmm. and like knowing what school would provide the most, um, well the most money for me basically because <laughs> college is a huge investment and some of these schools they will give you like zero financial aid especially if you're out of state mm -hmm. like they'll give you nothing. Yeah. Um, so I applied to um, UCs and I got into a lot of them but they gave me like zero financial mm -hmm. aid mm -hmm. so then it yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> UC schools were talking to you. We're talking to you. <laughs> it came out to be like $64,000. And I was like, if you think I'm going to pull that out of my pocket, you're wrong. Yeah. Um, which is kind of funny because those are public schools. Mm -hmm. And Pepperdine is a private school. But Pepperdine ended up being a lot cheaper for us than UCs. Also, scholarships. Apply for scholarships. You can apply for scholarships even after you're in college, actually. And after you've submitted your applications. Um, I think a mistake that I made is... I always looked for like $20,000 scholarships. Like the big ones, like yeah. Like the huge ones, mm -hmm. but like those are really hard to get. I think you'd have a better chance with the smaller ones and anything helps when you're in college. Definitely. Literally like $200, $500, like you just apply for them and then if you get a bunch, like it will slowly add up. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I watched a YouTube video from a girl and she said that she applied to a bunch of small scholarships and they added up to $45,000. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That, that's wow. goals right there, that's crazy. Honestly. And like another <laughs> thing for scholarships, so you have to write essays for a lot of them mm -hmm. and don't be stressed out about that because <laughs> A lot of them overlap, so you can just kind of like so <laughs> you can just kind of shape them for like that particular scholarship. Yeah. So don't be stressed out when it's like write a one thousand word essay. Like you probably have already written that essay. Mm -hmm. Also, just save all the essays you write. Like save all save the all essays. of them. Save all like write them on a Google Doc or something, so mm -hmm. you'll always have them. Yeah. Too. So if you guys don't know what GroupMe is, it's basically just this giant group text, and you can add literally. <sighs> Hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of people. We had how many people? Like, it was ginormous. I think 400, 400 or 500 people yeah. in our freshman class yeah. were in a group me. Yeah. Yeah. It was chaos. It was so fun though. Yeah, the I first liked it. few weeks I was so excited. Like, I would literally be sitting in the back of my classes and I'd be like checking the. I'd be like. <laughs> I'd be like, what? I've never been so excited for school. That yeah. like got me hyped up because like these are like all your potential friends yeah. and classmates and you're like interacting with them. So, group me is connected to Facebook. So, after you commit to a school or like you're even just thinking about a school, definitely check Facebook and like type in the name of the school. There'll probably be like a group for your class and people will be talking on there. And that's just a great way to kind of scope out what the social setting may be. Because, mm -hmm. not gonna lie, since Pepperdine's a Christian school, I thought that maybe the people here would be like really uptight. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's really chill, surprisingly. Everyone's super yeah. chill. And I was surprised from the mm -hmm. group me. So, definitely do that. And... There was so much tea there. So much tea! There were F-boys there. Ooh. Like, we exposed them. There was a spreadsheet. <laughs> there was a spreadsheet on the F-boys. I forgot about that. There was, a there was a spreadsheet on the guys that we were like supposed to avoid. Like, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so many of them were like trash and like we... <laughs> Like, girls would, like, screenshot the messages oh that they would gosh. send them and, yeah. like, send them to the group me. 
Oh my. Yeah, there, by the way, there were a lot of different group meets. Like, there was a main one for the girls and the guys, and then there was just a guys group meet and just a girls group meet. And, like, different mm -hmm. races had group meets too. So, like, the one that she's talking about is the girls group meet. So, another way that we met people was through other social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So, Snapchat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there were a few group chats on Snapchat as well. Mm -hmm. But I remember one thing that really shocked me was Instagram. So, I remember putting Pepperdine class of 22 into my bio mm. and I literally got hundreds of followers from Pepperdine students and I was like okay go off I guess my like, life <laughs> went all the way up like yeah. from before Pepperdine to now it's a thing to put like your college's name and then bound the word bound oh, like yeah. hashtag mm -hmm. and then if you do that you'll also find tons of other classmates and it's just really fun to find other mm -hmm. classmates and meet so many people oh and don't be scared to like dm people yes a lot of people dms me and at yeah. first i thought it was kind of weird but after it kept <laughs> happening i was like hey eh, what's up reach out and dm people be mm -hmm. like oh you're going pepper and I? like what's yeah. your major i got that question a lot what's your major mm -hmm. like where are you from i remember coming on campus and somebody's somebody was was walking towards me and they were like life with Remy and that's my Instagram handle and like for the first few weeks I only knew people by like their the Instagram, Instagram handles. Handles? Really? <laughs> yeah <laughs> even now some people will be like are you Hannah and I'm like how do you know and they're like I follow you on Instagram and I'm like what? Social so media is wild. I actually met my roommate because I slid into her DMs. Chase hey, is over she's there. Over there. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know, slide into people's DMs, don't be scared when people slide into your DMs. Now let's talk about um, the few days, like, right before entering college. I was freaking out. Oh I was gosh, so yes. nervous. I can't even formulate a sentence. I'm, I'm, I'm having, like, PTSD right <laughs> yeah. now. I'm from the East Coast, mm. and I feel like... I was not expecting there to be such a difference in cultures. Can we talk about what you feel is different here? Then South Dakota. Everything. South Dakota, everyone's kind of like, I don't want to say in each other's business, but that sounds bad, but it's not. I just mean like everyone's like really friendly and just kind mm. of like everybody knows everything kind of vibe. And here it, it's not really like that. I mean at Pepperdine it is because our school is so small, but I mean in California in general, there's not a way that could happen because the state is so big. I feel like on the East Coast, people didn't care too much about social media image. I feel like here it's more of a thing because we're yeah. near LA, like we're near Hollywood. So that's just something that you should think about if you're going to school like in another country or another state. Like expect to be a little bit shocked by the culture, but don't <laughs> worry because like that's what life is. You step out of your comfort zone and you learn new things, you meet new people. Well, that is it for my <laughs> video. I'll put her channel and her link in the bio um, and we're going to be talking about everything that like happens when you're in college. And just know that however you're feeling, you have literally thousands of other students who are in the same boat as you. Mm -hmm. So. Like, don't be nervous, you'll be fine. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye! Bye.